Let's continue to talk about solve the quadratic equation by completing the square. Now look at this example. So x squared plus 2x equals to 0. Okay, so last time we talked about the form of completing the square. So for example, so x squared That's the typical complete square form. And then we can also confirm x plus 1 square or 2x minus 5 square, something like that. So as long as uh, the form is multiplied multiply form, repeat the same, same thing times same thing, like x times x or x plus 1 times x plus 1 or 2x minus 5 times those two 2x minus 5 all this form we just call complete square form therefore when we have an example like um uh, 3x minus 5 square equal to uh, 11 like that we take square root at the time don't forget plus and minus and then we solve it this way right and then plus 5 so 3x equal to 5 plus and minus root 11 and divide by 3 so and so become x equal to 5 plus and minus root 11 over 3 like that however uh, our given example it is the same form as the previous examples so before solving this problem now we need to practice how we can make non complete square form to complete square form first okay so i'm gonna pause this example for a second and then look at uh, the pattern of the complete square uh, expression first so uh, please help me to expand those expression so what is the um, x plus 2 square it means we do x plus 2 times x plus 2 right therefore you fold them out then it comes out x squared plus 4x plus 4 here now another one so x minus 3 squared then this becomes x minus 3 times x minus 3 therefore this come out x squared minus 6x plus 9 so i'm gonna write one more and then we can talk about some pattern here so what about x minus 5 square then this become x minus 5 and x minus 5 so you fold them out then this come out x square minus 10x plus 25 here uh, just make one more so that it can be really clear we can talk about the pattern here so x plus 4 square then x plus 4 times x plus 4 you fold them out this come out x square plus 8x plus 16 okay now let's uh, think about some pattern here can you can you see you know this factor and then all these numbers what do you see yes you know these numbers are all double of this factor time x here so like a 2 times 4 2 times 2x which is 4x 2 times 3x become 6x but following negative 3 here and then 2 times 5 for negative so negative 5 so negative 10 times x become negative 10x and then 2 times 4 this time plus 4 times x become 8x here but now can you find any pattern between this number and this factor yes 2 square becomes 4 3 square become 9 same as negative 3 square also 9 
negative 5 squared 25, 4 squared becomes 16, right? Therefore, now if we make some pattern based on this, whenever we have x plus or minus a square, then we can make x square plus or minus and 2ax plus a square here. On another word, when we go back to here, you need to find out this a is half of this one. So because 2a divided by 2 becomes a, right? And then later, when you combine a square value. Okay, then based on this property, I'm going to solve this problem here. So let me copy down this question under the this property. So x squared plus 2x equal to 0 here. Okay, now this one looks more similar to this side expression. Okay, but as you see, there's no constant term here. Now, please think, what is the half of 2 here? Yes, 1. Then now, this one become whatever you divide by this, this number by 2 square. We found 1. So what's the 1 square? Yes, plus 1. So you add 1. At the same time, you must add 1 the other side. Okay? So later on, it becomes 0. So now, you factor this one. Then uh, so we can do t chart and 1 and 2 here as you know 1 plus 1 becomes 1 and 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so become x plus 1 square okay now equal to 1 here then from here now you can take a square root both sides don't forget plus and minus then become x plus 1 equal to plus and minus 1 now, because both are rational term, you can divide this x plus 1 equal to 1 or x plus 1 equal to negative 1 and solve for x, then this becomes 0 or x equal to negative 2. That will be the answer. So let's continue to talk about those two more problems. So first thing, x squared plus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. Okay. Now, even though this is trinomial form, but we are not sure this is the sum factor square, especially half of this one. Therefore, my suggestion, let's make like this first, which means we only leave x squared term and x term on the left side other things you move to the other side okay therefore what i want to do i'm going to subtract 8 then now the left side we have only x squared term and the x term and the right side just constant negative 8 exists here then now we can follow the property what is the half of 6 yes 3 now what's the 3 square 9 so you combine 9 both sides okay therefore this because if you factor factor out then become x plus 3 square equal to negative 8 plus 9 so become 1 now you square root both sides don't forget plus and minus so this becomes x so x plus 3 equal to plus and minus 1 both since both are rational number you divide two sections so x plus 3 equal to negative 1 or x plus 3 equal to 1 and now subtract 3, then x equal negative 4, or minus 3, then x equal to negative 2. That will be the answer for this problem. Okay, then look at 
another question here so y square minus 4y plus 2 equals to 0 I'm going to do exactly the same step what I did just for this problem so which means I'm going to remove this constant value on this side so that I only uh, leave y square and then y term on the left side which is y square minus 4y equal to negative two, negative 2 like that now same thing what is the half of negative 4 yes negative 2 and then negative two square yeah plus 4 so then plus 4 on the both sides okay if you factor out this one you come out y minus 2 square and equal to 2 here so you square root both sides don't forget plus and minus then this become y minus 2 equal to plus and minus root 2 so you combine two both sides so that we can isolate y term then y equal to 2 plus and minus root to here but now this time we leave answer as y equal to 2 plus and minus root 2 because this is rational this is irrational you cannot combine them each other okay that's the reason there should be the answer for this problem